Awasa is not only important for Aikido, but for other martial arts, sports, or any physical activity. It is often discussed in terms of rhythm. One of my favorite points about Awasa comes from Bruce Lee, who was credited with the point about how important it was to identify the opponent's rhythm, match it, then break it. The same applies for tennis, where you try to match the other's rhythm before breaking the rhythm in your favor. Even in business, we talk about rhythm and its importance to worker safety. All industrial manufacturing operations have a rhythm. Workers must be attuned to that rhythm or they can easily be involved in an accidental collision with machinery or other people. But Awase is not just about rhythm. It is also about matching my posture and attitude. It can also be about matching weapons. Remember that old line, never take a knife to a gunfight. A gun has one my, and a knife has a different one. It is much easier to fight gun against gun when they have matched my eye. In the same vein, a person with a gun can be at a great disadvantage if the person with the knife is able to close the distance sufficiently to make the gun ineffective. In Kendo, if your opponent goes into Jodan no Kamae and you are already in Chudan, you should not maintain the same position as your opponent were in Chudan. Your Chudan must shift and raise up to cover your wrists. You must match your opponent's stance. It is also important to match spirit in Kendo. If there are two equally matched opponents, the person with the greater spirit will win. Okay, so if we are doing Ikkyo, let me just come forward a bit, there, good, from here, and you're relaxed, your foot's going to turn, so I have to come in here. You notice my feet and your feet are at the same level. What that does, it puts both of our third points right there, so that when I cut down here, all of my weight is on the third point, and so is yours, I'm above you. So it's at this point I can do that. Now, if I try to do Nikyo from there, watch what happens. From here, okay. Now, I'm going to try and You notice I'm having real trouble getting your hand. Mm. Okay. Nikyo, actually, you're only to here. Mm. Watch what happens there. See? So I can I can actually make the turn at this point, and I'm still 90 degrees in behind you to do the to do the nikyo. Sankyo, the same issue. So from here again, if I come here, okay, so we're matched now. And if I try to take sankyo at this point, now look what happens to you. You can turn and face me. You can you can take my you can actually take me down. Right. Okay, so actually Sankyo, you go further. So, so now I'm further ahead than you are because you see the direction that we're both going? Okay, my foot is actually ahead of yours. So when I come here, okay, at this point, notice I'm behind you right here and try to touch me, and you just end mm -hmm. up screwing up your own wrist. So this is for me being ahead. Now, Yonkyo, let's again, we'll start with Ikkyo position, and we'll see what Ikkyo does here, okay. And I try to do Yonkyo from here, okay. Resist, can you resist it? Yeah, yeah no problem, right? Because I'm too cramped up, you can actually hit me from yeah. there, right? So now, we're going to do Yonkyo again. Notice I'm too far out. But watch what happens when I come in for Yonkyo. I'm behind you. Mm -hmm. Is it working? Yep. Yeah. 
So Yonkyo, at this point, rather than being close, so we have Ikkyo, right? The Ikkyo, Nikkyo, Sankyo, Yonkyo. Now what happens if we're too close? Again, let's try Ikkyo from too close. So we're here now. We're too close together. So your third point is here. My third point is here. I try to, if I try to take you down, can you see if you can resist this? <coughs> see, I can't even get you down. Okay. So at this point, when a person, person will come back up, right. right here, what I have to do now is come in. Notice you're already off balance and from here. Okay. So what we have is ikkyo, normal spacing, nikkyo, not far enough in, sankyo, too far ahead, yonkyo, too far out, and koshinage, too close together. Okay? Thank you. So from here, shomenuchi, right, do your ikkyo. Right. Down, up, down, up. Okay. okay. Now, when you do that, try to make sure that you keep a better, um, as we move along and I'm taking the fall, move into a better mind each time so that you're ready. Mm -hmm. to come in because you're, you're lagging a little bit. Too, too, too far away? No, no, it's not that too far away. You're sometimes too close, sometimes too far. Mm -hmm. So it, it changes with the requirement. So let's try it again. Mm -hmm. Just See, you're too close. Oh. Thank you. Okay, so you've got to set, if you end up being too close is as much a problem as being too far away. Because as I'm coming up, I've got the power to come up. Mm -hmm. And you've got, you've got to be far away enough that I can't use that power, that power of rising to take you down. So let's get again, start again. Right. Oh, a little late. Too close. <laughs> See that? Okay, so you gotta watch out. When you're doing this type of stuff, you have to watch out as to the distance. Here, let me try it. <coughs> All right, Jack? Yep. Too close. Do you see what I'm doing if I'm too close? Yeah. I'm going into Uda. Yeah. Now, because I'm at the distance, I can come into Omote. Mm -hmm. But I'm too close, so I have to come into Uda. Yes. Okay? So, Yawase that we're doing here is uh, to try and make sure that in order to have the correct Ma'ai, to match the Ma'ai, our technique has to match the Mai as well. So if I'm too close, I'm going to be doing the Ura. If I'm good distance, I'll be doing Momote. All right? Thank you very much. Thank you. One of the things that I try to make sure we do is bring your body up when you're doing your Ikkyo, right? So that when the person turns, you have See, so you're not in deep enough. Mm -hmm. It's still not in deep enough. Mm -hmm. That allows me to do the crash. You have to come in. Here, you'll feel it. If I'm only in this far, see the difficulty I'm having? Yes. And I can't even bring that other foot in. I have to 
from here. Bring this other foot up. There. So now I can step in very easily. Mm -hmm. okay. Most people doing Ikkyo right now, I'm really, what bothers me the most about the Ikkyo is that they come from here and try to do another step. Uh -huh. Or from here, they try to step in again. Okay. You guys are probably not used to the two different types of uh, ikkyo. Okay. So one style uses jo style movement. <coughs> Using this step. Okay. And the, <laughs> the other one uses ken type of movement, which is going to come here. And notice my shoulders are uneven, and one of the things they say not to do. Mm -hmm. But watch what happens when I step in. This, okay? You have to differentiate between those two. You can't do jo style footwork and Ken style movement, or Ken style footwork and Ken style arm movement. It has to work together. So, if you're going to be doing that stepping through type, okay, you have to come in far enough. See my feet match direction? Yeah. So now my positions are matched. We're both on the third point. What's the purpose of what's the purpose of Ikkyo? The purpose of it? What are you trying to achieve when you're trying to do Ikkyo? To take the person's center. What else? Look at it. To what uh, else? Uh, to render them harmful. What's the what's the what is the arm movement for? First one. No? What are we doing? What's this for? What are we doing here? Survival. Well, you're controlling the body How? by doing that because now you have a center if you have your angle right. This is the matching issue. Right now, where's your touch your third point? My third point. Thank you. No, no, your third point. Where's, where's the point? You've got two feet. On the triangle, right yeah, there. Yeah, triangle. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> It's yep. either behind your bum or okay, in front. Okay, point to his point to his third point right now, in front. Oh, in front. Would yeah, be right there. Right. Point to mine. Your third point is actually your third point is way behind you. Right no, here. in the front one. Oh, in the front. It's right here, same place. Exactly. And I'm on top of him. Yeah, as you are. Yeah. Okay. The objective is to match our positions. So that my third point is right on top of his third point. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I've never seen okay. it that way before. So if you come here, <coughs> now there's two ways of doing it. One, I'm matching here, okay? So now our third points are matched here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can do it differently. I can match, turn your foot there. Now his third point and my third point are matched. They're right on top. But, but I'm in this position. It doesn't matter which one, but you still have to be matched in your third point. Mm -hmm. That's what Ikkyo is all about. Mm -hmm. That's all you're trying to do. It's the same thing if I do Ura, and I'm coming here, okay? Now, your third point is where? Right there, right? So because you're falling ahead, it's over right, there. Right. Guess where mine is? <laughs> it's right there. But as I do this, you're going to be stepping forward, and recovering, so I have to match my third point continuously above yours. That's what Ikkyo is all about. Ikkyo is about getting your third point right on top of Uke's third point so you can use your entire body weight. That's why you can do it with one finger. Because you're using body weight, not muscle. I'm going to come, I'm going to grab Ryo Katatori. Okay. I just want you to throw me. Okay. 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 Oh. What happened? Uh, I screwed you up in a way. You stopped. Not only did I stop, up. there was something else I did. Uh, do it again. Okay. I'll do the first one real slowly. Okay. okay. 
I'll do the second one real slowly. Okay. You, what I did you was I held bent my your arms. arms and bent your arms. I bent my arm. arms. So now we're not matched. Okay. So the objective of this exercise is that I'm going to be coming in. Sometimes I'm going to be coming in. Okay. Doing something like that. And you have to match your position to mine. Hi. So I'm going to fall easily. Don't worry about, don't try to muscle me. Hi. If you, if you have to muscle, it's something wrong. So we just start all over. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll just come normally again. Look what happened. Again, I bent my arms as I was coming in. Okay, so now what you have to do is move over here. You're not going to get it that way. You're going to have to stretch me out, so you're going to have to do ten come. Hey, that's right. Hey. Any, let's keep it easy and just do just a throw from here. Yeah, like that. Good. Now, what would you do if I did this? Right. You, do cook, you have to. Point being, you have to match. Now, I want to show you the easy way to do this, this uh, ryo kata tori. Okay. okay. So, what the objective of the first move, the entry move? What's the objective of the first entry move? For nage? Yeah. Nage is to uh, get out of the way. No. <laughs> Not just that. Well, to blend with the partner and move out of the way. You have to get 90 degrees in behind. Okay. <clears throat> Part of what I felt, what you were doing, was you were throwing by pulling. Okay. All of these kokyunages throw by pushing. Okay. So if you come in, one of the things I'm trying to do is get to your 90 degree in behind position. Right? From here, it's easy. Right? But if I don't get there, I'm here. Now look, your arms are bent, my arms are bent. I can't do anything. Okay. I have to, now I have to pull. Okay. I can also come in from here as you come in. I can come in this side too. It doesn't matter which side you come in, but you have to, here, you have to be, here's, the, here's what I mean by 90 degrees. Can we go for a second? You see where your belly button is? Okay. My belly button has to be here. I have to be able to either touch or see your back easier than you can touch or see my back. Right. If I am here and you are able to grab me, right? right. I can't do anything, mm -hmm. right? So if you've got both of my shoulders at this point, you're behind me, mm -hmm. right? So I can't do anything. I have to get behind you, mm -hmm. okay? So I have to do a little stutter step to get behind you. Now I can touch you, right. and that means I can throw you, mm -hmm. okay? So, just, let's just do this one real, just do it nice and simple, nice and light. I'm going to come in very slow, right. and then come and try to get behind me. There, that's it. Okay, I'm going to come in again, try to get behind me. That's it. Again. There. Good. Hi. Makes it a lot easier. Thank now, you. even if I come in with a bent arm, you should still be able to get in behind me. That's it. You have to watch your head so I don't elbow hey. you. Ah, ah. I was behind you. I was fast. No. You have, the way you were doing is fine. You just didn't get in deep enough. There. There. Okay. Now, I'm going to do a funky one. Okay. <laughs> Now you gotta deep in, real deep. Hey. That's it. So anything you do, you have to get into this 90 degree and behind position. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's ikkyo, nikkyo, sankyo, yonkyo, iriminage. Most people just don't get in deep enough. They have to get, for, for instance, katate tori. Yeah. People keep on coming in and doing this. No, you should be able to hit me in the back of the head. Right? Yes. So I have to 
much here. Okay. Or I have to turn you so that I'm 90 degrees. Okay. But I have to be able to see your back or nothing's going to work. Okay. You're going to end up pulling. Katate tori. Right. Remember this one? Okay. Just I want you to do that one. And let's see what you do. Ah, you see? What part of her body was leading backwards? Watch again. No? Her backside. Exactly. Your butt. Okay. If your butt is leading, it means you're pulling. Mm -hmm. Okay? If you just pull pull on my hands. Uh, no, with your whole body. Okay. You see how your you see how your butt is sticking out? Yeah. Okay. Now stay there. Right stay right here. Hard to see. It. Turn around. Okay. Now you're gonna be pushing. You're gonna be pushing on my hands. Push, push with all of your body. You see what's leading is your shoulders, right? Because she's leaning into it. That is a push. Back, like you're pushing your car up. The other one is a pull, and you can't pull in IQ. Okay? So, if you're doing it, rather than coming back like this, okay, you come back like this. Now, what I'm doing is I'm actually, rather than pulling this hand, this is what pulling your hand feels like. Right. Feel that? Right. Okay? Now this, I'm pushing your hand. Can you want to feel this push? Okay. From here, I'm here. Now I'm going to be pushing your hand. You feel that? Yeah. So try, try the push. So you, what you have to do is allow, I'm going to be relaxed. So you're just going to go back and try. No, 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 just relax. If you have to, come in behind me. There, there. Now, from here, keep your, no, that's fine. You're here, so now, you, now your hand is ahead of you, going that way. So take this part of your hand and push that way. That's it! Hi. You feel it? Yeah. Different, isn't it? Hi, very different. Okay, now. Here, now. There! There you go! You're pushing. But with your hip too? Hi. Sure. You have to push with your hip. With your hip. Yeah. And then you've got... A lot easier, isn't it? Thank you, Sensei. Try, Martin, come here and work with me. Try it. Try it, both of you. No, just one hand. Just one hand. No. no. You can't. Look. Here. I'm going to show you something. I see people doing this all the time. Okay. If my hand comes up like this, how am I going to push that? Mm. I have to end up pulling. You have to keep your hand like this so you can push. Uh. Okay. If you do this, there's nothing for the other person to hold on to. So you're going to lose the person. So what you want to do is you want to keep this here. So there, you can push. You have to keep it totally relaxed to do this. So Sensei, you're moving your... Your leg and then your hip and your hand together. Well, I don't know. <coughs> yeah. Leg first and hip and hand. Looks like. Is it, what is it? What are you doing inside? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I'll do the same side. <coughs> what did I just do? Leg then hip and hand together. Almost always, in most cases in Aikido, our feet move first. Nice. Um, yeah. Otherwise, you end up doing this. Yes. <laughs> and that's got a lot of slack. In another video, I'm going to be talking about taking up the slack. But this has entered all the slack that he needs to hit me or do whatever he wants to or do kai she wants to. I have to... See? Look, did you see his arm? It was straight out. Mm -hmm. There's no slack there. And as long as I can keep the slack out, I can control your body. So I have to take the slack out of your arm.
Yeah, I'll just come in normally. We're going to be working at one quarter speed. Well, you see what he did? He got in at a point where my arms were bent. You have to get to a point where you can keep my arms from getting bent. You have to take up the slack. No, nope, too much slack. If the person comes in and they've got their arms bent, but just grab tight and bend your arms. There, right? Now, what do I do? I have to take up the slack of at least one arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in close and I'm going to get rid of the elbow as part of the issue. You, you don't have to work with a whole arm. Well, you mean take up the slack, and I'm not sure I understand what you say when you mean take up the slack. Okay. All martial arts requires you to take up the slack to become effective. If I'm punching, if I punch like this, I've got this slack. There's no, there's no transference of here to here because it'll be absorbed when I do this. Okay? What has to be, if I am here, I don't have to hit with my arm. Okay? That's all required, but that was because my arm was straight. Okay, I've taken up the slack. Now, to throw someone, if their arm is bent, no matter what I do, if their arm is bent, I can try to come in, Nikyo, Kotagashi. I can't do that because one, there's slack here and there's slack here. I have to take out the slack somewhere. So the slack is gone, so now I can do the technique. Okay? If you maintain slack, if I, you know, like that, I have to somehow take the slack out of this arm. I've taken the slack out of this arm, mm. right? Relax. Okay. Uh, if you do moro tetori, okay, moro tetori, both. Yeah. Okay, from here, and you get your arms bent and lock, bring, bring them into your body. No, nice and tight, and so you're strong. So you use here. Let me grab. Normally we do this, right? And, so my arms are straight, but I can do it this way too. Now I'll try to do you anything. <laughs> because I've taken the arm out of your slack. There's no slack in your arm, but there's a lot of slack in my arm. I can manipulate my arm to do anything, to take care of anything you do. So go ahead, put, get, into slack, get a lot of slack. Well, you've taken the slack out of your own arm, so I don't have to do anything. Even there, you still, because your muscles are tight, mm -hmm. I don't have to do anything. Okay. Because there's still slack in your arms. Er, er, your arms are sorry, slack in my arms, and your arms are tight because you're muscling. Mm -hmm. okay? So try to get your arms bent, relax. Okay. Okay, so now I can't do that. So I have to now get build slack from some other part of my body. So that's why in Aikido it is so important to have a relaxed shoulder. Because Uke is probably going to be trying to control your wrist and your elbow. So you have to relax your shoulder so you have another degree of freedom of movement. Okay? Anytime anybody locks down that means they've taken all the slack out of their body. That means I can easily take them down. If they're relaxed, do it, kyo. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna resist. The more relaxed I am, the harder it is. If I don't want to be thrown, so you have. That's because I've taken all the slack and put it into my arm, so I, my arm, you, I can do anything with it. OK, 
Okay, so as long as I can keep that slack in my arm. Okay, so your objective is to try, come, try to be, try to be as relaxed as I was. Okay, so you should be able to turn. Now, I'm going to take the slack out of your arm. I'll be relaxed. Yeah. Now take the slack out of my arm. From here, from here, from here, from here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you can be that relaxed. Yeah, very good. Good. Now I'm going to take the slack out of your arm. <laughs> what did I do? I had it bent and then I straightened it out. So, relax. Hey! <laughs> Easy, right? But the whole objective is you have to take the slack out. Now, in this juwaza, Uki is going to be putting slack in as they're coming in. So, you've got to take it out. Either by making their arms straight or getting rid of their elbows. So that you're only working with the upper arms. Or get rid of the arms issue altogether and throw the body. Mm. Right? So if you're really relaxed when you grab my two shoulders, okay. okay, and I'm trying to throw here. Now, if you're really relaxed and but still grab tight, okay. I'm trying to throw you, I can't throw you, can I? Well you still resist. Okay. Right? But resist relaxedly. It's hard for me to throw you. Mm -hmm. So what I have to do is I have to get rid of all the slack, either by not worrying about the arms or just worry about the body. Come oh, tight, okay, yeah. relax your arms so I can't throw you. There, throw your body without worrying about your arms. But when I worried about your body, what happened to your other arm? I didn't notice that, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to not worry about the arms because they're not, not an issue anymore. Okay, what? I'm going to try and throw her body. So, so what happened to your other arm? It started straightening out. Yeah. Just by the slack started being taken out. Mm -hmm. So the objective of this exercise is to get rid of the slack, matching your movement to Uke's movement mm -hmm. to get rid of the slack. Which is a very long explanation for a very small point. So we're going to do Ushiro Ryo Kata Tori. As you come in, I'm going to be moving you around me, okay? So that I'm into this position. At this point, I'm going to, both hands are going to come forward like this. Now, uh, just for this one, just take a forward and carry for me. Okay, just roll. Okay, now, you notice the position I'm in is the position that should also be a roll. So basically, we are both taking my ukemi, except I stop. So let's do this normal speed. Okay. Again. We should start off and hum me with both of us facing each other. Now, as the person comes in to grab here, you're going to start raising your arm to force them to come around you. Okay? At this point, where you are now, now I'm going to, my hands are coming forward, and my, I'm going to take the step here. And then I'm going to do empty the teacup motion. Okay? So let's do a little bit smoothly, but real slow. So. As it comes in, I'm moving my hands up here so that we've, we're in a position that our hands are in front. Now, at this point, as you come here, I am stepping forward into my ukemi position. Both hands are going down. So, let's just do a, 
We're just going to do the Ikkyo Undo first to remind people of what it's about. So Ikkyo Undo, as from this position, you're just coming in. Ikkyo, then the other person does Ikkyo, and then this person does Ikkyo. And here we're matching our position each time, matching our distance. We have to sometimes take a little extra step to get EQ. Now, this exercise for uh, matching for the different levels of resistance, we're going to change the level of resistance. You remember I talked to you a little earlier about if you're really stiff here, I can't come in all the way because your foot doesn't turn. I have to do EQ here. Right? So, what we're going to do is we'll start off relaxed, and then we're going to, I'm going to, what I want to do is I'm going to change my level of resistance on you, and you're going to have to determine how far you have to come in, and what angle your foot has to be. Okay? So we'll just start very relaxed. but I was relaxed, yeah. so you had to bring your foot forward. Oh, yeah. yes. Okay, so let's try that again. Notice what I had to do yeah. at that time. Because of the way you change your foot, instead of coming in this way, I had to move my foot here. Mm -hmm. okay. So that is for, depending upon how much resistance you give me, I have to change my movement in the middle of the action. action. So without telling me, you do whatever level of resistance mm -hmm. right now, okay? okay. Okay, so I ended up matching my foot with yours. Right. I started coming in deep because you started out relaxed, mm -hmm. but then you tightened up. So I had to boom. I started here Change. and I changed. Okay. So this is the type of Ikkyo Undo exercise that helps you match the various levels. Okay. So choose another level of resistance and see if I can match it. There. <laughs> <laughs> it became ikkyo, yep. ura, mm -hmm. because you resisted yeah. so much, because you're pushing this way, I had to come this way. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it is not me who determines which type of ikkyo I do, but okay. Thank you. Remember Taino Henka, we came in to 90 degrees and behind there. That's Taino Henka. But depending on how Uke attacks, we have to change it. So if Uke attacks from above, so there, no, just there, then this is fine. Okay? But if Uke attacks from the side, okay? no, from, from the side, okay? no, no, it's just this way. Yeah. Now to try and Hold it nice and tight. Okay. If I try to do this, 
notice I've got a bit of a problem. I can't get behind him because I'm locked up. I end up having to do more of a there before I change. Okay? If you actually attack from below, there, okay, from here. Now, I can't do, I can't come in here, I can't come here, right? I have to do more of a here, okay? So, depending upon how Uke attacks and how I give the hand, or if, if you, from here, I may, at this point, there's no way coming any one of those, I have to come in here, okay? So we're going to do Taino Henka, but we're going to change the level, the way we attack. So just uh, start, start like this here. Mm -hmm. uh, just which way, which type of Taino Henka you get? Go ahead. Get in there. Okay, good. Now, again, what happens if I come this way? Just this way. Okay, now change it. There. Good. What happens if I come this way? There. Right. Or if I come if I come this way. Right. So each one of my grips is going to change. So what you have to do is, we're going to do this dynamic. Okay. And I've, the uke, Nage has a bit of control as to what they do because they can change the angle. But we're going to do different types of entry depending upon the way you grab. Mm -hmm. right? So come in and just change the grab you, that you like. There, okay? type of attack. Let's do another type of attack. Okay. Uh, another type of attack here. Okay. Different type of attack from here. Each one of those a little bit different here, or let's do the same one again from here. Yes. So every one of those can be turned into a different type of kokyu nage. See if you can screw me up. And do something really weird with your hand. There. Try another one. Try something that's very strange. Here. <laughs> I'm sorry, that wasn't really a Taino Henka, so let me let me do it again. From here, let's see if we can do a Taino Henka. Here. Taino Henka. <laughs> okay, so each one of those being really weird, a little different, but you can always get into a Taino Henka and a Kokyu Nage. Good. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's just, uh, I'm going to attack you this time and we're just going to, uh, I'm going to change the speed and power with which I come in. So just a normal. Okay, good. 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 See, because
because I'm static now when I'm like this, you have to move That's in it, deep. That's it. Good. Okay. So I'm going to attack again. Now you can't remember what to do for normal. Yes. Almost <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. Good. Good. So let me try a cue on this side. Okay. Depending on the le level, uh, I have to make that decision as to the speed and power with which you're coming in each time as you're grabbing. I can't wait until you come in because it'll be too late. So I have to make that decision as you're coming in. Okay? So, depending on whether you come in normal, okay, that's just normal, okay, you come in real fast, then it's just, I'm going to be coming in through that. If you come in really tight and strong, I have to come in deep enough that I can get 90 degrees in behind you. If I don't come in deep enough, well, this is what's going to happen. I'm all bound up. Right? Either that, or I'm going to end up here, and you're going to hit me in the back of the head. Mm -hmm. okay? So I have to make sure I come in here to this point. So it's the people that are strong are the biggest problem. And it's stiff. Yeah. And people that are light and relaxed, easy. Just pass them through. Yeah. Right? Thank you very much. I'm just, we're just going to do this katakatori. Okay. Now, you're going to see how this one works. Okay, from, no, 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 Hi. don't jump. Hi. No need to. From here, okay, at this point, watch what I, all I'm doing is I'm shifting this way. Hi. So it uses, what it does is it uses the hum motion. I have a question there, something. I've never seen Toshinagi done that way. Isn't this dangerous for Ricky to fall on your knees? Because no. I've always been told this stance. Yeah, then that you'll blow your knees up that way. Really? This is from judo for so many years of doing that. Really? Watch. How are they going to hit my knee? How are they going to hit that knee? My hips covering it. Hey. Martin, come here. I'll show it. Yeah. Just, I gotta do this side because of my bad leg on the hey. other side. So it comes in. No, no, just relax. Relax. You don't. Okay, has to do nothing. Okay. Here. Okay. So you're just weight shifting. That's all. Okay. Thank you. It's just a weight shift. Okay. Yeah? Same with ikkyo, uh, type of style, koshinage. Okay. Now, put your arm here. No. Okay. From here. From here. Hi. This is the standard. Kihon was a koshinage. So grab my arm so you don't. You, you, at this point, okay, from here, you see how he's over? And look how he's going to go over my hip. Yeah. Come. Can you feel it? Aye. That hip? <laughs> it's a hard fall. But it's okay. Uh, if you do it from a sankyo, you know, uh, this is the same. Here, ski. <laughs> See how fast it goes? 
because all it is is from here, just shifting. So you don't do the other ikkyo way, like this. We would go straight in down yeah. to ikkyo, and then as they come up, then we go. Yeah, that's, that's that why you have style? to do it. Hmm? That's judo style. That's judo style. Yeah. Okay. Here's the difference. Judo has to come in here okay. because your knees are like this, okay. your feet like this. That's it. Okay. And this is all judo. Aikido uses, rather than Aikido, you, judo uses this force. Aikido uses hamme. Hmm. This is where all our power comes from. It's your basic exercise. Mm -hmm. So you should be using it for your techniques. So it just basically all it's done is coming there. Okay. It's a beautiful technique, but people get it wrong because they don't follow the principles. One of the things that they do is that they pull this arm so they're, they're so they're pulling rather than if you want to push it. okay you can feel the difference mm -hmm. this is a pull okay so i'm pulling here okay whereas i'm pushing here okay and whether you if you end up pulling you're going to see what's what will happen to me from here i'm going to end up pulling like this and i'm going to pull you straight into me Right. Even if I clear the line of attack, you're gonna, I'm going to pull you right into me. So what you want to do is push. The other thing is, they don't get their body off the line of attack. So what they do is they come back here and they sit down like this, right along the line of attack. So even if they're pushing, they end up pushing the guy straight into them. You have to get off, you have to get off the line of attacks one way or the other. Okay? So... Two points from here. You have to push back and you have to get your foot off the line of attack. Now, the one other point that I should mention uh, is that both arms have to work. If you don't have both arms working and one just kind of is too loose, you, again, you're going to pull the guy or push the person into you. You'll end up pulling with this hand no matter what. So let's give it a try. Okay. So remember, push. That's right. That's right. And good. Very good. Okay. Now, I just uh, one point about pushing and pulling. If you have students that, uh, and you want to know if they're pushing or pulling. If their butt sticks out like this and their toe comes off the ground, that means that they're actually pulling. Okay? If you're pushing, okay, then it's, you'll notice that their toes are firmly on the ground and their butt is not stuck out. And just to give you an idea of this, let's stand here and, and if you pull on my hands, okay, notice, see how your butt is sticking out? And look at mine. My butt is sticking out too because I'm pulling against you. Okay? Now, stay there. Now, I'm try pushing against my hands. Use your whole butt. That's it. You see how your butt is, is no longer sticking out? Your back is what leads rather than your butt. Okay? And your toes stay firmly on the ground because you have to push with your toes. So if you're looking to see whether your students are doing it correctly, watch their butts, watch their toes. It's about joining together. Okay, so basically we're coming in as the person comes in tenshin, then tenkai. And so you've taken the slack out of this arm, and at this point then I can now throw to your third point. I can either take you backwards, relax, mm -hmm. 
here. Or I can take you forwards that way. Okay. So, this just comes in. That's it. But the issue on here, that what you're trying to practice, is this matching of timing. If it comes in a little bit faster, I got no choice but to throw them that way. Just boom. But you noticed, actually from this position, because I had no choice. I had to match his position. Now, come, come here. All right. Just step over here. What's happening? What am I doing? Where's my third point? Where's his third point? Okay. I'm just matching third points when I do this here. So I don't necessarily have to step. Why do we step through when we throw? To get your head down. Not just that. Oh, really? Not just that. To keep from getting pulled down. Oh, that's true. Because you're falling on my third point, if you hold on to me, I'm going to fall. I don't want to fall. But if I'm actually projecting you forward, then I don't have to worry about that. But if I throw you, don't let go, okay? Hold tight. If I throw you backwards at this point, here. Okay. Uh, I can't even do it. I have to step here. Okay, so. Now, at this point, I'm not going to get pulled down. But if I'm like this, and he holds... Uh, Okay, so even though I want to match my third point with yours, I have to get rid of that point as quickly as possible. So it's like keeping your center. You have to keep your center, exactly. Okay, so let me just do one more here. At this point, I threw a stepping forward. The other one I didn't need to. Yeah, so. And it's about taking out the slack as we're throwing. So try it again. Well, that's it. That's not good. Tanto dori shomenuchi gokyo. Now, we're going. One of the things is if uh, Larry hold the blade, the blade side down. Now, I'm going to show you one of the reasons why we don't do ikkyo. So if, if I, even if I come in correctly and I do this, now all he has to do to cut my hand off is right there, and it hurts a lot if he does it right. Just push it straight. That's it. Okay. That's why you don't do that. Gokyo, on the other hand, it's real hard to do that, right? And even then, there's very little pressure on there. So this is why we use gokyo for this type of, uh, of attack. Okay. Now, a key thing is there's no omote or ura in gokyo. Okay. So shomenuchi gokyo, we're going to come in and we're just going to do a nice static one first. Here, and then from here, we're going to lead out to his third point. Sweet. Okay. Right. So, let's break that down into the tiny little parts. Okay. First part, you have to stop the arm coming down. And to do that, you have to control the elbow. Okay. The second part of it is this foot has to step out so that he drops to his third point. We're matching his position here. Yeah. So, make sure you have the grip this way for Gokyo. You'll find, here's one of the reasons why we don't do Omote or Ura. Okay. At this point, if I, even if I come in here and see what you can, see what you can do with the, see, I can't, yeah. I can't, ah, mm -hmm. there's not enough power in this hand to actually take him that way. If, no, even if mm -hmm. without uh, cutting here, though, yeah. but you resist just like you did there. Mm -hmm. See, there's no problem mm -hmm. in me taking him over. But there's, 
Yes. There's no power here. So rather than using the power, mm -hmm. we're going to use the third point. So from here, just... Okay. So it's like sweeping with a broom. You just think about sweeping with a broom. All right? So, yeah? So as I come in, you have to stop me now. Yeah, just both, both at, just do both at the elbow. Yeah. Don't even have to do that. Okay. Just there. Yeah, right? yeah, okay, now switch to your hand. Mm -hmm. There. Okay, now you have to sweep me to my third point over there. Mm -hmm. More, deeper, deeper. There you go. Even if I am in this position mm -hmm. and you attack, I have to still come in with this right, foot. Right. You can feel it when I do it. Yeah. If I do this, yes, yes, yes. you can still hit me. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if I do it, even if I'm here, I'm going to step forward. Right. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay? So now I've got you, turned your back, and I'm, I'm 90 degrees in behind you. So can you hit me? Mm -hmm. No. Can't quite reach me. Good. So, your distance, your, this is the maximum of your hitting distance, so you should be able to poke me right now. Yep, see? So, this, you should not be able to. Stretch, 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 stretch. There we go. At the maximum, that's, that's her absolute maximum. So, this is where I want to be. Okay? So, show Manuji. Here. Now. Oh, one point. Did you notice how her whole body went that way? Okay, watch what I did to do that. Go, go very, very slowly. It's this back foot coming in that gives all the power. Okay, at that point then, here. So you want to get you want to get that back foot using for the power, especially in tachi dori. If I try to do it from you know, come, come oh, hi, hi, I thought that's a slow sensei, sorry. Yeah. Here I try to come here. Look, you just cut. Go ahead, turn, cut. Oh, hi. I don't have her going. That way, so her sword is actually, I bring her around, so her sword is actually coming this way. So it's going to kill me. It's going to cut me right in half. I have to get her going that way. So to do that, see, there. That back foot, and then the second step from the Komi, there. Three steps, not one, not two, three, okay? So the first step is to close the distance, second step is to take this, and then the power to take them down. Okay, let me do it again, okay? I'll show you again. The first step has to close the distance, the second step has to take her back. To do that, this is what does it. Then the third one, is the one that power to take it out. And that's a Fumi Komi. Okay.